Hey, strong people, I got stuff in the mail and I'm going to show it to you. Um, got this package from Iron and Stone Strength. You can check them out at ironandstonestrength.com. And let's see what is in it. We got packing slip. Whoa. A bunch of stickers that fell out. Stickers are always fun, right? Appreciate that. Fun stuff. Yeah, here's a, let me know how the grip shirt works for you. Our goal was to make a shirt that isn't expensive, that still looks and feels like a normal tee, but still has function. And the owner, Eric. So let's check this out. They also sell other uh, apparel. I think they just uh, sponsored USS Nationals, and now they're also, you know, they're a sponsor of StartingStrongman.com. You can go to startingstrongmancom slash sponsors to see a full list of sponsors. But nice apparel from people that do strongman stuff. I'll definitely be wearing that. Nice and thick. Looks like it's a good fit. No labels. It says made in the USA. Of imported components. I love that part. Anyway, so here is the, they, I think they call it a tack shirt. So kind of interesting. That's gray on like a black. So compared to like, uh, you know, the grip shirts that we sell that are made by Razio, I started showing them that have all the injected little silicone. It looks like they just have like a tack, very tacky. It's free. Pretty tacky print on a normal shirt. It's like, I think that you could you could wear that out and it not be embarrassing or anything. I might just put it on right now. But yeah, it just says the top lifter of iron and stone. And then it has their little logo done extra big down here to cover more material. It's under a, I wouldn't quite call it the dry fit shirt. Let's see if I can see what kind of... No, I don't. So it's ironandstonestrength.com. And on the back it has right in your squat or your yoke pattern. Um, another design. So I think that'll definitely be helpful compared to a normal t-shirt. Um, my first thought is it's not going to be quite as grippy as a grip shirt because uh, there's no grip stuff um, in the inside so it could still slide on your skin a little bit especially being um, more of an athletic fit shirt which you know of course I like to wear but it's half the price and you could still wear it like I mean Iron Bibby wears the <laughs> the normal grip shirt the other grip shirts on a plane but I wouldn't recommend it, it looks ridiculous uh, they're effective, but I don't like wearing them, but we're gonna, I'm just going to wear this for training. See how it feels and do some log press. Uh, it's probably some Husa felt or, you know, uh, cake carries and stuff. A lot of stuff that uh, benefits from having a little extra grip. So let's see how it works. So the first exercise of the day was log press, and the shirt uh, seemed to hold good grip. I ordered a medium. And I'm about 200 pounds, five foot seven, and it's a little tight. I had to put on the little strongman girdle, also known as a rebound belt, to uh, make sure it wasn't showing my gut the whole time. I'd probably go with a large if I'd go back, but you want a grip shirt to be tight. You can see it, it kind of moves down a little bit on my on uh, my chest as I clean because there's no inside grip, but it gives a very uh, adequate amount of grip compared to a normal t-shirt and definitely helps without being overly sticky and the implement almost sticking to it. It's honestly a lot easier to train with, but I would say not as optimal uh, grip as some other ones, but very good and especially for, for the price. And uh, it still looks good other than it, I, I could wear it out other than it being so skin tight on me, I'd look uh, even more ridiculous than I already am. I wear a pretty tight and a large already, so that's why, you know, you size down. I think I wear a t-shirt 
probably too tight as is, just hoping I lose that weight somehow. Did some farmer's walks, which of course uh, the grip doesn't go down to my hands, so that doesn't help, but then into some sandbag carries. And <laughs> I was looking at asking Domino, and it, it really stuck the implement to my chest on here. Also did some extensions later, and I feel like it, it provided good grip as well. And here we go. You want to join in on the action. So here we go. And Domino wasn't too pleased by that, but <laughs> it was uh, pretty funny. But yeah, um, overall pleased with the iron and stone strength grip shirt. And if you're looking to one, I definitely recommend it, especially at the price and being able to wear it to the gym without looking utterly ridiculous. Here's some backwards drags with the extra genie. You can pick one up at store.startingstrongman.com. Of course, uh, the grip doesn't go to my feet, but uh, a good product overall. And uh, you can you can wear it to, to and from the gym and on a plane. And uh, you, so it's, it's a, the only grip shirt you can wear if you're not uh, Iron Bibby on a plane. But you can see a uh, great little tool, the, the truck pull simulator, uh, which you can get on our store. A great little tool. I changed out of the grip shirt because it's a little too tight and it was hot. But thanks for watching. Of course, go to ironandstonestrength.com to pick up that grip shirt. And you can follow me at Let Kale Lift.